In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up your Epson DS80W wireless scanner, portable scanner with a MacBook. Open the web browser and type in the Epson DS80W scanner driver. The first link you will see from the Epson website with the name of your scanner. Select it. It will display your scanner. It should display your operating system. So here we can see that's our operating system. It has detected. This is the recommended driver combo utility package. So we have to install it. Click download. open this file install open on the next screen you will see your software and here we have to accept the terms and conditions you can select if you want to send the user's information to Epson or not and click on the next on the next screen it will ask you to select the connection method so in this video I'm going to use the wireless method so click Wi-Fi click next so you get a USB cable with this scanner so plug in the one end here and other end goes to your MacBook you will see the light becomes stable now push the power button to the right hand side and release it also move the wireless button to the right hand side go to the macbook screen and click on the next click next and click next in case your scanner is not sufficiently charged you have to wait until the charging is done and then you will click on the next It will display your wireless network. Click yes. It may ask you to enter the wireless password. Allow. You will see the wireless symbol is stable. That means it is connected to the Wi-Fi network. But we still have to finish the setup on the MacBook. Setup is complete. Click on the next button. You can also select for update software. Close all the windows. In the MacBook, scroll ahead and look for the document capture. Select your scanner. Next is to install a page for the scanning. So let's do the first scanning with it. Now before you start the scanning, you can just unplug the USB cables. Place a page facing up. Now you can press the scan icon here or you can press the scan icon on the screen on the top. So both way it will work. And now it will display the scanned page as a PDF. So this way we can do the scanning and we can start using it wirelessly. Now you can just keep it anywhere you want and start the scanning. So this way we can do the wireless setup of this scanner using a MacBook. Thanks for watching.